Welcome to your weekly edition of the Forest Walk. And apparently this is a special video dedicated to Steve Sherman, otherwise known as Stefan Beneteau. Because he can't come out and walk in the forest anymore, so we're bringing the forest to you. Enjoy. Hello everyone. As you can see we're on our morning walk. I've got Millie on a leash. I've been having some issues with her coming back in the yard, not wanting to, and, well, you know, being Millie's stubborn self and doing what she feels like. I think we might walk this way today. Come on, Mill. It's not our trail, but it goes to the meadow. Just for something different, and I wanted to see kind of what it's like going on there. Yeah, rolled around the snow. Yeah, you like the snow. Watch, you're going to get wet. Yeah, the ice broke. Careful. Must be a smell there. Gotta wait, Rock. Gotta wait, buddy. All right, Melly, let's keep going. I'm sure there'll be lots of places to rub down in. It sucks that I can't just let her run and play with Willow. Uh, but until we improve the callback, there's, uh, it's just too risky. Um, the last time we were out, she came back. We actually had went out twice that day and she was okay. She took a bit to come in the yard, but she did come in the yard. And then the second time she kind of went around our yard, was at the backside, but then decided to go through a little bit of forest and then out to the road. So, needless to say, I was very nervous. And honestly, my mistake too, because it was probably 20, no, maybe 10, 15 minutes before Scott was coming home. So, I think that had a lot to do with why she was wanting to go up by the road and wait. So, yeah, so she went up to the road. And she went across the road, and I can hear cars. It's my road's only really busy during certain times, like first thing in the morning when commuters are going to work and when they're coming home. Hey, hey, you, I'm at the end of this leash. You can see we're gonna get tangled up a lot here today. Um, so, anyways. Uh, there, a truck did go by, scared the crap out of me because she was on the other side. She was looking at me and I thought, please don't run in front of this truck. And to be honest, she was very visible. Hang on a second, I gotta fix this. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> we had to untangle. Okay, Millie. Sometimes she forgets I'm on the end of this leash, I think. So anyways, after the truck went by, I had Willow with me, so she came to kind of you know, join Willow, but she ran out kind of quick, and I wasn't able to get the leash on her, so she was still kind of on the road, and I started going down my driveway, and she followed, but she just sat by the mailbox, so I'm calling her, she's looking at me, trying to decide, or wait for Scott, and this time a black SUV is coming down the road. So I'm getting nervous again, but they're slowing down. I could see that they could tell that she's there, I'm there, something's going on. So as they slow down, she thinks, oh, who's this? And she goes to check them out on the road. And, and of course, you know, it was two women and they were extremely nice and I felt extremely bad. Um, so they, uh, <laughs> Rolled down their window and Millie proceeded to jump right through their window and land on both ladies. And not only that, she also kicked their coffee over and sent their coffee flying across their car. Which I'm sure they appreciated that too. But the lady said it was super funny and it made her day. <laughs> so I'm glad she wasn't mad. So with that being said... I love Millie very much, and I don't want to take chances that something bad will happen to her. Or, you know, someone just picks her up. <laughs> so, because apparently, and that's the part that was kind of like sad to me. I was like, you know, 
took all this time working with this dog and she's like, yeah, I'm just going to jump in this truck with these strangers, thanks. So, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit odd. Like, Willow and Rocky would never do that. But we, they're very bonded. And Rocky did raise Willow, so they are bonded. They've been together since Willow was a pup, puppy, so um, that's the kind of the difference. But I think she'll get there. But, <laughs> again, <laughs> I would like her to be a little more bonded to me that she's, you know, she's doing pretty good. But she is very, she's got a very, um, kind of confident personality. And she's very, uh, oh God, I'm trying to think of the word. You know, she's got a husky temperament. She's uh, very self-reliant. She's not as needy as my other dogs. She likes kind of doing her own thing. And she likes to sit out in the yard by herself and just lay there and watch everything going by. So, oh, it looks like we made it to the meadow. So, yeah, that's why Millie is on the leash, which, look at this. Look at this. Millie, you have to come back. There's no way. Y yeah. Oh, good girl. That's the problem. That's why we hate having her on a leash. Because it'd be nice if she could just... Oh, the meadow looks pretty good. Well, there's a lot of trees springing up here. It used to be very clear. But, yeah. Quite a bit of trees springing up here. I wonder if there are any of the seeds that I planted. Who knows? Looks like a lot of scrub. Okay, hang on. I'm going to let your leash down a bit. Oh, it's really nice out. Well, Dad, I hope you enjoy this video. <laughs> um, I'm probably breathing super hard. I got my cleats on, my boots. It was very icy. And I, when I went to my parents, they gave me these cleats to strap on. I think they're from Denison. Pam, I'm not 100% sure. I thought that's what my mom said. They dropped them off or something. Or they went and picked them up together. I don't know. But so far they're working. This is just kind of deep snow. There's not as much ice. Which my other trail is all ice right now. That's kind of why I picked to come out here. My Rocky! The tracks are right there. So I don't want them too close to there. Good job, buddy. We'll see what Willow's up to. This is the bungee cord, so it kind of has a spring back, and it's not too bad on my back, because you could see she's trying to pull through. <laughs> I did have her help pull the sled a couple times, and she was fine with it. Oh, man. It is beautiful, though. We had almost, the, the yard is empty with snow. A lot of melt yesterday. It was quite warm and rainy. Not the best day. Alright, we're gonna continue on. Drop that shit, DJ OJ. Yeah.